The man accused of hitting and killing a state trooper on I-25 in 2016 will no longer face a felony charge, and a judge says that is the fault of prosecutors who repeatedly botched the case. The judge in Ogamas Ruiz's case dismissed the criminally negligent homicide charge as a sanction against District Attorney George Brockler's office. Our Ryan here explains this rare punishment for prosecutors. Kyle, Kristen, this order is the result of a second mistrial in the case. The judge felt there was a pattern of discovery violations that the district attorney's office was not properly disclosing important details of the crash, details the defense needs to properly fight in court. The crash happened November 25th, 2016. No Gomez Ruiz is accused of not moving his truck over for trooper Cody Donahue working on the side of the road. Donahue was hit and died instantly. More than two years later, no resolution in court, a drawn out process as a judge declares two mistrials. The most recent came after a deputy working on the investigation claimed in court that the alignment of Gomez Ruiz's truck could have contributed to the crash. That was news to Gomez Ruiz's attorney, Harvey Steinberg, who argued to have the case dismissed argument. completely. My, my argument was that if, as a result of gross negligence by the district attorney, it causes a mistrial, then it's not fair to the defendant to have to stand trial a second or a third time. Nine News legal analyst Scott Robinson says there won't be another felony charge, but the defense didn't get everything they wanted. What the defense really wanted was dismissal based on double jeopardy. But you don't get that unless you can show the prosecution intended to force a mistrial by misconduct. The judge did not find that, and for good reason. This was obviously information that was new to the prosecution team completely, but still, you really ought to know if the reconstruction showed a defect in the vehicle in question. So after failing to foresee a critical piece of evidence before it drops in the middle of court, the ball is in the DA's court. Will they bring Gomez Ruiz back to trial for a third time? Steinberg points out the mistrials at the hands of the prosecution is costing his client big bucks. It doesn't cost the DA anything because they have taxpayer funds, which apparently are unlimited to them. So, Gomez Ruiz will not spend any time in prison for a felony. He still could face those two misdemeanor traffic offenses, misdemeanors that carry maximum sentences of a year in jail plus a fine. Finally, Kyle, we reached out to District Attorney George Brockler tonight. Haven't heard from him. And then we have the Donahue family in all this, the trooper's widow and his two young girls. Two failed trials and now what? The potential for some traffic offenses. Uh, yeah, and the, the emotional ordeal that they'll have to go through again if he comes back to court. Mm -hmm. All right, Ryan, thank you.